Welcome back, guys. Good morning. <clears throat> Going to jump in here to another 1510. I, I played some games last night on my own and got my ass beat, and I would drop back down to 1350. Uh, yeah, anyway, I, yeah, I went back to 1350. Long story. But anyway, uh, I started a new playlist. This will be episode two on the playlist. <coughs> So what I'm going to do, like I said before, you know, 12 to 13 or 13 to 1400, 14 to 1500, and hopefully beyond, and I'll make a playlist for each one so we can do it like that. So this will be episode two instead of episode 56 or whatever we were at. So let's jump in here and see what we get here. All right, 1418. So this is a good opportunity to get some of our rating points back here. Scandinavian. Uh, I don't want to trade the queens at all. I will. Fuck it. Brought out his queen early just to give it to me. Doesn't seem great. Doesn't seem great. Now, I'm going to think Keto and put pressure right on this king. There you go. Just for you. Now, takes and takes. Does that hurt my feelings at all? No. No, it does not. Now, if I take this, this just blows his, his uh, what do you call it up? His uh, queen side. And I expect that is where he's planning to castle. I'm going to castle, and uh, we're going to start pushing some pawns, because I'm certain he's going over here, and we're going to start making some moves here to uh, push him around a little bit. Now, if I go here, I just lose, no, if I go here, he takes, but I recapture. So we'll do that. I've been chasing this uh, bishop when they try to come down with that early pin like that and just been running them off. Because the way I see it, I'm getting a little bit of development out of it. You know, getting a couple pieces into the game. Uh, so why not? So this pawn, so this is defending this square. I really don't want to trade that off. I could put this here and put pressure down the file. I would love to keep this square defended, however. Uh, there's not a good... Yeah, there's not a good argument for me to, to retreat right now. So I think I could just play this and put this pressure on. This also defends this square, so when I move the knight, he can't come in anymore. Bishop can't go here. He wouldn't be able to go here, here, or here. So, looks good to me. And then maybe I'll push. Could force that light squared bishop to get out of here. This uh, this knight needs to find a home here fairly soon. Of course, he's got to do something now because his pawn's hanging. I would expect this. Um, yeah, he's going to win a tempo, and then he could move over here, and then he's got both rooks on the open file. That's not ideal, but, you know, whatever. 
He's really got this knife just, you know, in, in a bad way. Credit to him, I guess. For me? A bishop? So, if I on passant, I drop that pawn. This will this will open up. I'm not, you know, terribly worried about that. So, what I need to be focused on is making sure that I'm not running out of time here. So this knight, he's not got a lot of useful squares. So let's go ahead and take the open file. His knight's not great. My bishop isn't great. But in the end game, if we trade down and get these rooks off the board, <clears throat> I'm going to have the bishop pair. And that pawn's not going to survive that. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Because he, he, took his, he took his escape square away, so that feels, feels nice. Feels nice. Now, I think that I could get my rook up here on a 7th rank. He's going to want to play this, but then I play this. If he takes, I'm going to capture like this. Hell, do you push him back again? No. Here... Here, he takes, I take. Yeah, Rook's on the 7th. Rook's on the 7th. Compared, and also, you know, added with these with these bishops, this could get a little, a little bit scary. If he takes, I'll recapture pressure in this knight, and then he won't be able to just come down and recapture, and I should be able to just pick that right back up. <clears throat> See, now the knight has to do something else. Has to go here, is what it has to do. Uh huh. Or that, or that. If I take, he goes here. If I played that, If I take and he takes, I could pick that up. That hits this rook. Here, here, here. If I take that, he takes me, then I go here. He could pick that up. Then I go here. So I think I have to take him and capture this way. So here, sorry, here, here. That hits the knight. <clears throat> and then I could pick my pawn back up. And now, you know, it's it's not as easy to, to find yourself a good square, I don't think. If I play here, takes, 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 I win another pawn like this. He 
he recaptures and then I and then I pick this this pawn here up. Yeah, he goes here, I go here. But I mean, look at his pieces. <clears throat> They're not good at all. That also, this actually may get really bad here. Because when he drops back, I could pin this to the rook. So if I play here, he can't move that. If he goes here, I could play this, and I think that's going <clears> to <throat> force material off the board. Let's just... Uh, here. Here. If I played here, he would go here. I play that. He gets to my second rank. Here, then here. Yeah. If he moves that, we'll trade rooks. We're in an end game with me with the bishop pair up two pawns. Here. So here, he's got a check. He could win a couple of pawns back. But if I go here and he leaves, he's going to lose a piece. So, yeah, I think that's good. If he moves that, it's an even trade. But you're still down two pawns and I have the bishop pair and your best piece is off the board. So... <clears throat> now, how do you convert a position like this? Well, so this pawn is doing a good job of neutralizing this knight. This move st stops him from being able to do that. If he comes down to here, I could play this. I think I'm going to play this. That puts pressure on this, <clears throat> so he's not able to just start shoving pawns forward. And then that's going to give me a move here. Because I don't believe... Oof. That don't feel right. <clears throat> he could go here. That challenges this bishop. Kind of feels like a wasted move to go here. He could step up and come out. No, he can't step up. He cannot step up. So if I go here, his route out gets a lot longer. How does he get me out of here? He can't play that. He could play that, but then I think I just come back to here and start pushing pawns. So I'm going to play that. That's what I'm going to play. <clears throat> Make it more difficult for the king to get involved. And then... And then I think I should get over here and start doing some of this. So, yeah, he could go here, but I'm not worried about that. Here. If he plays this. Put 
push again. I have 10 minutes. I have 10 minutes. No need to get crazy. But this is my advantage. Here. 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 Or here. Whatever I do, I'm going to have to have a bishop to support this square. So my king is going to have to come. Now, if I play here, the knight could go here. Fucking end games, am I right? Uh, yeah. So, I'm not going to let him have the only active king in the game here. So, let me get my king in here and start making some moves. Yeah, but he still isn't able to get into the game here. Not to mention that pawn right there is a target, you know, if he were to leave. So... Here. When he moves, he's going to go to a dark square attacking a light square, which means I can guarantee myself not to get checked again if I go to a dark square. But here, I'm not actually attacking this. So, with that in mind... Let's play this. It's on a different colored square. Now, where does he want to play his thing to? Here. I could stop him from coming here by playing this. So, I'm going to do that. Because if he comes here, that's a fork. And I can't stop him from, from winning material. So, that's probably the move that he needs to make now. Okay. Okay. Now, if I go here, and he plays that, I could play here, but he's, he's going he's gonna to trap my bishop if I do that. So let's go here. Let's go here. So... Here, 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 and here. Yeah, this is gonna get this is gonna get wild, man. So he's got this trying to keep me out of there, but I believe I could play this. And force this bishop off. Is that a good move? Well, the bishop's going to be gone. He would have. He doesn't have that check. So the knight can go to these squares. So, 
are any of these particularly dangerous? No. No. So let's get rid of his bishop. I say they're not particularly dangerous. That does not mean that those moves are not dangerous. It just means that if they are, I don't see it. So where does he want to go? Here? Here and here. If I go here, he's threatening this, but none of these pawns can move. So if I go here, he could play that. I got this check. Here, he's got that check. Here and he plays here, maybe I do this. He's got to be really careful about... So if I go, if I go here, and he plays to here, then I have this, then he plays down, I push, he takes, I go here, and then he can sack the knight and stop it. So let's not let him do that. Right? Let's 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 limit that. If I go to, if I go here, he doesn't have any of these three squares. Let's do this one. Let's do that one. If I played this, takes and takes, the knight has to move, and then that's a real problem. Got to be able to win these end games, man. You get in a position like this, you got to be able to convert. Tough game, man. Yeah, I played a guy last night. He was rated 900. And he played so good, you know. And uh, he made one mistake. And, you know, well, not, not not like I'm, you know, some fucking chess savant. But, you know, but he, he made a mistake. He blundered. He, he You know, it was a tactic. And I, I think he thought that it worked. But it didn't. And, uh, and he ended up losing a piece. But other than that, man, the guy played really well. And he was so nice, man. And I ended up just resigning. 
I, I, you know, he said, I think we both know where this is heading. And I went ahead and resigned. And uh, that's where a lot, I think I lost like 18 ELO or something on that game. Which, it's just fucking ELO, man. You know, so it ain't the end of the world. He was a really nice guy. I don't know. I was like, when I was 900, if I had beaten a 1400 at the time, I would have been like, oh, man, you know. Which, to be fair, you know, it's a little bit tainted because I resigned. But I don't know. I was trying to do the right thing. So if I played here and he came here, if I do that, takes, takes, he wins a pawn, I go here. I don't want to move those pawns. That's a wasted move. What I need to be doing, because every time these step forward, there's more pressure on him to stop them from going any further. So what I need to be doing is making sure that those pawns are able to advance. So maybe the move is to come to come down to here and get on this diagonal and then get out of the way and let these things go up the board like that. Maybe that's how I should be playing this. I'm sure that's loud as hell. Sorry about that. I made dinner last night. And uh, I made these... I uh, went to the store and picked up this, like, pork... Uh, it was like little, little small, you know, inch long, inch and a half sized chunks of uh, pork. And I put it in the skillet and fried it until it was almost done. And I took a potato, well, actually, I took about a million potatoes because they were that big around. But I sliced up the potatoes and put in a bowl, and I took an onion and diced up the onion and put it in there and put some crushed red peppers on it. And I dumped it in on the pork while it was cooking with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, you know, and all that. And fried it all together until the potatoes were good and soft. My goodness. This is the best shit I've ever ate in my life. Yeah, I kind of do like this. It's two extra moves, though. But is it the right move? Because then it's going to make it harder to, to defend this square and the, to stop these pawns. Because he can't—he just can't push this pawn. He can't push this pawn. He can't push this pawn. He can't push this pawn. So my bishop is just stopping everything. Here, takes, takes. No. <laughs> he has to move something. This is a legal move. <clears throat> Maybe I do play here and go there. Wow. Good game, buddy. Good game. That was, uh, that was a good game. I bet it was 80% 80, 80 or better. 87.6, folks. 80, oh, shit. I've been sitting here this whole time with a cup of coffee. It's cold as piss. Tastes like it, too. I usually, yeah, so we got rid of the queens right out of the gate. What's best? See, I don't like this because I always worry about him being able to attack that diagonal, which maybe I shouldn't be so worried about because how is he going to... Well, he could do that. I could play here, but then my knight, you know... Uh...
What are they like here? Just getting rid of that bishop. What was best here? Get the king over. Makes sense. But it was 0.43 of a pawn, so I mean, it's not, you know. What was best here? Going to there. All right. What was the best move here? See, I, yeah, the king needs to be active, but I like this here because it just shuts down these pawns. It makes it harder for him to get his king into the game. What's best here? Probably bringing the king. Yeah. Now they don't like me bringing the king. Now bringing the king is no good. What's best? Go back. Come on, man. I ain't trying to go back. What was best there? We'll take it, guys. We'll take it. Opening was uh, ninety point five percent. Middle game was eighty point eighty nine point seven percent, and the end game was eighty three percent. So, not bad. I had three inaccuracies and a mistake, but I played eighty seven point six. It's pretty damn good. All right. Well, we're back uh, back on the the upbeat now after dropping fifty elo after our our last uh, video. But if y'all liked it, like, comment, subscribe, all the things, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys.